Hi guys, today's card um, I'm going to be using the two Martha Stewart, um, actually cake cartridges, but I'm going to be using Elegant Cake and I'm going to use the image here of the bellflower and then there's the little flowers in the bow and then on the all occasions cake I'm going to use this border here which is on page 77 um, which is just called scalloped border so we're going to use that one and then I'm going to be using this granola paper pad from basic grey which has again it's got some really gorgeous images in it uh, papers in it and lovely patterns and colours so going to use some of those. So first things first we need to do our base card. So I've just got a standard basic card which is about four by six I would say. I'm just going to fold that in half and then just score along the back to make it nice and sharp with our bone folder. So for our base layer we're going to use this sheet here. So we're just going to stick that right down just on top of our card. So I'm just going to use a little glue runner and I'm just going to put the adhesive straight onto my card. It's just such gorgeous paper this, it's almost impossible to choose which uh, sheet to use as your base image. There's so many different layers. Anyway, to start with, we're going to put this one down, I've decided. It was quite a hard decision in the end, now just decide which way round. I think this way, so I get all of that lovely bit at the top there. So then I'm just going to line it up with the top edge where the fold is, so that then, and then down that side, and then I can just cut the excess off with some scissors or a craft knife. The front covered. Now, this is that I'm going to layer up. I've already pre cut just to make it easier. So, the first thing I've done is I've pre cut a stripe, this one of the stripy pieces, and I've scored and then folded back the corner here. So, then I need to pierce a hole, and I'm just going to put a little brad through that corner and just hold that in place. Just mind your fingers when you're piercing holes through things. I have a habit of sticking these things into my fingers. And trust me, it hurts. And blood is not a good look on your cards. <laughs> okay, so then I've got this lovely little brad which I'm just popping through. And then we we'll just open that up at the back. And then get my adhesive. Get that out the way. that's all got the adhesive on it around that edge so that it sticks down nicely and there in the middle and then I want that in my bottom the bottom corner of my card so just making sure that's the correct opening side and then stick that down centrally make sure it's well stuck Okay, then I've got these other little pieces that I've cut out. Uh, so the first one I want to go down there. So, and then I want the other one here. And then this one across. So what I just need to do is position those like so, so I know where I'm putting them. And then just be going to put glue on them. Okay, so that one goes about here, and then this little one, which I've stuck to the table. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That's what happens. I'm always doing this. I'm always putting glue down on the table and sticking things to it. Okay. And then that one goes, I need 
this piece on there just to judge that's going there so this one will be sliding in like so okay and then the last bit that I'm putting on before we go over to the Cricut is this cream piece and then I'm going to stick that just about there okay so that's where we're going to now then I'm going to go across the Cricut and I'm going to cut out a board which I'm going to put a board piece down there and then I'm going to cut out my flowers which are going to go somewhere here all right we are at the Cricut so I'm just going to load my mat um, I put my papers on already and at the, we've got in the machine now we've got the all occasions cake for Martha Stewart and I'm going to just do the border first which is this one here on page 77 and I'm just going to do the, the straight border which it is one by three so we're going to set this to one inches because three inches is plenty um, the pressure is at maximum so I'll take that down because it's not that heavy a paper and the blade is at six so we'll take that down to five so we've got blade five pressure four speed four um, and size one inch okay now we just need to find that and it's that one there just wait for it to come up and make sure it's the correct one and then press cut <laughs> Okay, there's that one done. So now um, this will automatically unload, I think, when I switch it off, but you need to switch it off in order to change the cartridges. So take this cartridge out and change it over to the Elegant Cake cartridge. Put that one in and get my overlay. Put that on and switch it back on. Whoops. <laughs> and catch the mat as it spits out. Then reload the mat. And I'm going to go across to my cream paper first. That's going to be my base layer. So I'm going to do my base layer in the cream, and then I'm going to do the bows and the little flowers in the blue paper just here. Okay, so find the little bell flower which is up here. wait for that to come up there we go and I'm going to set that to two and a half inches on this one hopefully that will fit okay I'm actually recutting this at three inches because it wasn't quite big enough I felt so I've just recut that at three inches and it's just hopefully just finishing and we'll go over to the blue layer and then we'll cut The shift and the bell flower to get the bow and the little flowers. Okay, let's unload the mat and then go back over to the table to finish this card. Okay, so we're back at the table. Here's the piece that's the border that we cut out, and here's the little bell flower which I've put together the pieces. Um, so now we just want to put this onto the actual card. With the border, I do want to just take a tiny little piece off the edge of this, just up to near those holes because it's just a little bit wide. Um, so I'm just going to carefully take a small piece off that. And then pop that down. I'm going to put this piece down here like that so I'm just going to get my zig two-way glue pen and I'm just going to go on the back of this because there's quite a lot of holes and bits and pieces on there so I think it'd be easier than trying to go around with the glue runner okay that up and place that about there And then get our bell flower. Now I think what I want to do with this is ink around the edges on this as well. So I'm just going to get some paper and pop that down onto it and then start inking on the edges of that. Okay, so here's just some scrap paper. Just put that down on there. 
and I've got um, a sort of brownie ink because obviously the whole sort of card is browns and blues and things so, and then I've got this here and then we'll just gently just ink on this just to give it a bit of dimension really So that it stands up from the page a little bit and then the other thing I think we will do is put it on to as you can see look there we go I'll just move that from underneath because you can't see um, then the other thing I'll do is put that onto 3d foam as well okay what I decided was instead of my 3d foam that it would be easier to use my pin flare gel so I'm just gonna blob a little bit of this gel trying to put 3D foam I think on these uh, flowers would be nigh on impossible just trying to put some blobs on there so that it uh, has a 3D look at least okay so then we take my card and place my flowers and the other beauty with this is of course is that you can move it you've got some time before it sets just to move it around and get it in the position that you want it to be in okay so there we go there's our card hope you enjoyed it today and um, look, please leave comments and subscribe thanks for watching bye